And welcome back to uh, Final Fantasy IX. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we are about to head out into the big bad world, and there are a lot of side quests to be dealt with. Um, really, kind of don't know where to start. I mean, th there's only really like two major things that we're going to be doing, but um, we'll just see how things go. Anyway, last time we uh, we did get Freya. We haven't. Well, I did this off screen actually. I, did, I gave her some equipment. Um, as you can see, she's got like the javelin, teaching her a bunch of skills, giving her the iron helm so she can level up a bit quicker, uh, antibody on the bronze gloves, linen curious, and the coral ring, which uh, was her prize actually in the festival. Um, gives her some very nice abilities, insomniac, so she can uh, you know be protected against sleep, and the lancer ability, which um, I haven't actually. Uh, seen in a long time, so I can't really remember what it does. Well, there you go. Ha HP and MP damage, so that's that's quite nice. Um, she is a dragoon, so a lot of her abilities are reminiscent of that class. Uh, very classic Final Fantasy stuff. And everyone else, I think I've given... Um, what did I give? Did I give Vivi anything? Oh, I gave him the cotton robe, yeah, because it's uh, slightly better defense. And we've learned everything else, so, you know, just makes sense, doesn't it, really? Uh, let's, um, let's get a move on. We spoke to the Moogle, so we've, we've not got any letters to pick up from him. No, nope, okay. Let's, uh, let's get out onto the world map. Right then, so, onto the world map, and this, uh... This area greets us immediately with some chocobo tracks. Yes, those are chocobo tracks, and they actually come in handy very soon. Um, but there's this area, which is directly ahead of us. You can actually see what looks to be a, a house or something in the middle. It's uh, This is the marsh area we saw through the telescope. And uh, we might as well just check this out. This is a very familiar place because we've been seeing this in the tutorial with the Moogle, with the Moogles. And I just, I, I love this, this music and the sound of the, the frogs. And frogs, yes, frogs come into play quite soon. So, uh, yeah, we could talk to him, but we actually know everything. Well, we don't, but we know enough. And uh, I'm not sure if there's actually anything to pick up around here. But there are enemy encounters that we might run into. So we're just going to be on our toes. Uh, no, okay, so let's just head into the reeds or the grass. Can't really see where we're going. Oh, look, a house. Which is exactly what we thought would be here, but, um... Oh, wow. You have a very long tongue, my friend. This is the Q? I'm gonna call him Q, but I don't know how you pronounce that, really. Is it Q? <laughs> uh, clan member. We, we Q's big frog eaters. Frogs give much energy. There you go. Told you about the frogs. These, these, uh, these guys are pretty weird. As far as, I mean, Final Fantasy is full of weird shit, but seriously, this this race of things takes the biscuit. And there's nothing in here, so let's leave. And let's go this way. And oh my god, there's another one. You look familiar. Hungry. Now, this is... Well, we're about to learn who this is, but um, this thing wants a frog, because it's hungry. So, we've just caught one, and now we're going to give it to him. Or it, she. We don't know what race, uh, gender this thing is, honestly. You got frog! Frog's very good, mmm. Who the heck are you? Me? And this is, I, I always call, call it Quinna. Although, uh, previously in my other Let's Play, I did call it Collider, after a very good friend of mine. Um, I'm actually just going to keep the original names this time round, I think, but um, between 70 and 90? Holy crap, I didn't realise that. Gender unknown, uh, dominant hand both, ambidextrous. That's a really long tongue. They kind of look like 
really creepy clowns, almost, with the eyes. I don't know. Confirm. And this is a new character for us. Do you want this frog? Yes, yes. Oh, he's so hungry. All right, there you go. Just handing over that poor frog. It's gonna get devoured. Yeah, it's yours. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, there's that other guy. Quail, his name is. You pathetic quinner. Can't even feed yourself. Well, he was trying. Now we're back at the house. Or the hut. Can't master art of eating, just chasing frogs. Quinner. Or Kina. Do you call it Kina? I don't know. Frog's very good. Frogs are your best, better than Alexandria's. Now you see, yes. I do believe that was uh, Quinner back in the kitchen of the castle. Uh, need some light. Would Well, big place. Many, many foods. Alexandria, just one kingdom. You need to go out more. Eat other food. Sounds scary. You mean your frogs outside? Of course! Many good frogs. Eating frogs is key to growth. Now this is this is really important, actually. So the marshes exist all over the world and uh, go eat frogs. Much learning, yes. Traveller, please show Quinn of the world. Do we have to? Why the hell not? Yes, you certainly probably maybe will. Yeah. Really? Okay, I go with you. I love this character, because completely optional, and uh, you you really don't... I mean, what's his motivation? Just to go eat stuff. That's incredible. Good enough reason for a journey. What's up, Vivi? Oh, really? That's strange. Maybe he knows him. Yeah, maybe he does. Oh, Vivi's gonna go chat to him. Let's see what he says. Apart from your face, uh, not much. Quan, yeah, okay. <gasps> I'd not know that bigot. <laughs> you kind of sound like you do, though. I I no can answer. He looked exactly like you, Mr. Quail. Of course, we from same tribe. Oh, <laughs> you really don't. Of course, he fucking does. Honestly. Aw, oh, he's not gonna tell us. What if we burn it out of him, hmm? Aw, poor Vivi. He's always on the on the lookout for anything that might tell him about himself. Do do do. Do. Oh, this this is Quinn. Is this Quinn's theme? Is this called Quinn's theme? I always associate it with Quinn. I just fucking love this track. So, we can actually catch frogs. And this is another side quest. The more frogs you catch, you actually get rewards, and uh, some of them are quite good. However, um, sorry, I love this music. Oh, so good. Yeah, you got to catch the frogs. Uh, however, frogs have genders. You get males and you get females. Um, frogs regenerate over time in the different marshes. Uh, I think it's just how long you spend away from the marshes. I don't think it's story story related. But um, if you leave a male and a female in a marsh, the frogs respawn a lot quicker. Uh, so that is a female. We shall keep it. Uh, apparently free, uh, free males. What? Females have red uh, feet. So I'm guessing that one there closest to us is a female. They can be quite tricky to catch, actually. Yeah, that is a female. So I'm actually going to keep it. I think there's, there's got to be more. Oh, hello. You working hard, Quinner. You come from... Uh, you come far a lot. We've, ca we've caught two frogs. That's not exactly, like, you know, amazing, is it? Thank you, Master Quail. I train more. 
Right, so, um... You're another female. I'm guessing that one on the... Yeah, we, we'll keep that one. That's got to be a male. No, it's a female. Oh. Damn, there's a lot of females in this place. So there's, what, there's four left? I think this has got to be a male. Yeah, right, so I'm going to let you go. And that is a female, so I'm going to let that one go as well. And I'll catch the other two. If I can. Love this music! But yeah, eventually... Um, if we catch enough frogs, we'll start getting weapons for, for this uh, little character. Catch it! Oh, don't... God damn it. You know what? I know... I know there's another female, so I'm gonna keep that one. I think. Was that... Shit, did I just catch the last female? I think I just caught the last female. Bollocks. I mean, the frogs do regenerate anyway, but it just takes a lot longer. What are we going to get this time in ether? Okay. I think I've just left three males. That sucks. I made a boo-boo. So I'm just going to catch... Catch two more. I can. They are a little bit tricky. Okay, we'll keep it. Because that is a male as well, but I'm going to leave him. I don't know if it actually makes a difference now, but... Um, we got seven frogs. That's a decent start, at least. I'm gutted about that, though. You can actually find golden frogs, and they speed up the regeneration, or respawn, <laughs> you could say, even quicker. But now we should have... Yep, it's in our party. And uh, we need to check its equipment. It's only level 9. The BV's like only level 7. Holy crap. Um, it has a fork. Now, I'm I'm also kind of gutted that in the Zagnol fight, we didn't get the needle fork. Because that would be a little bit better. Um, so that's a shame. High Tide, what does that do? I don't actually know what that ability is. Let me just have a quick check. Ah, allows you to trans faster. Alright, well, we'll give you that. And, uh, let's actually give you some equipment, because otherwise you're kind of screwed. I'll give you the steepled hat, I suppose. Leather wrist. You're not learning any abilities from these things. Nothing at all. Okay, well, that that's fine then, I guess. But, Quinna is actually... Uh, what you'd call a blue mage, which can learn enemy skills. And it does it in a very interesting way. Hopefully we'll get to show that off, because there's a few skills we can learn in this location, actually. So I want to run into some fights, if I can. Uh, you actually learn enemy skills by eating them. Uh, which is, you know, kind of makes sense with Quinna, but still, it's a little bit weird. Uh, but you can only eat them once the HP is below 25%, I think. And I don't know why I'm not running in, running into any enemies. I thought this place had random encounters. In fact, I know it does. Um, can't go anywhere that way. I'm not sure, you know. There's a, there is a point in the game later on where you actually find something kind of hidden in one of the marshes. I think it's this one, but I don't know if we can actually find it just yet. Whether or not the story will allow it. don't think it will. Oh, back at the frogs. No, 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 we're not catching any. You've caught enough, Quinner. Do it later. Even though I love that music, I'm afraid we've got other business to attend to. Why am I not running into any enemies? What's going on? Maybe I need to leave and come back? I mean, there's some enemies out on the world map as well that we want to run into and get some skills, so... I don't know. Let's go back. 
That's weird. Let's try again. Come on, enemies. I know you're around here somewhere. Come to me. I must learn the ways of the enemies. I must learn your skills. There's one in particular that I want to get. It's called Frog Drop. I think we learn it from a massive frog. And it does damage based on how many frogs you've actually caught in the game. So it's kind of... I don't know. I've never really used much blue magic in this game, I'll be honest. So this is kind of new for me as well. I want to try and get as many skills as possible. Why the fuck are no enemies spawning? Do they not pop up around here? I thought they did. No, that's gonna... Oh my god, why? Why game? I need encounters. For the first time ever, I actually want enemies and it's not giving me any. See? Nothing. How very strange. Oh, there we go! My god, that took ages! Guarantee I'll never, ever get those slack encounter rates ever again. Ooh, what are you? You're not the ones I'm actually after, but you might have something anyway. Oh, you know the water spell. Ah. Oh, you do have an ability, I think. Axolotl, I think it's... I don't know how you pronounce that. But yeah, you use the eat command when they're weak enough. And you can use your blue magic. But we don't have any right now. So let's, uh, let's steal. Let's try not to die as well. Stole the potion, that's a bit crap. Thunder, that's gonna hurt him. Holy shit, Freya, you killed it in one. That's not really what I wanted. Phoebe's gonna do the same, is he? No, he's not. Try and eat it, winner. And this is the skill we want to learn, actually Aqua Breath. Come on, Quinner. There we go. Easy as that. It's just a little bit tricky sometimes trying to get the health down to the uh, necessary amount. But that's our first blue magic skill and a little bit of XP. Uh, I'm probably going to end up heading back to Lindblom at some point uh, to pick up some more synthesis stuff if I can. Uh, not right now, though. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep running around that marsh, actually. I do want to find... I think it's a Gigantoad? I think that's what it's called. I'll just run around here, because at least I know you can run into enemies here. Um, fingers crossed this time, perhaps? There we go, those are the ones! Two of them. They're huge! Oh, horrible things. Let's show off Aqua Breath, actually. It's probably not going to do much. Blizzara. Ooh. Nasty. Nasty pasty. Oh, it heals him. Okay. Yes, water's not good against him, then. Kind of obvious, but I just wanted to check it out anyway. And Vivi missed. Good. Doo -doo -doo. Now, I think... I'm not sure, though. I think if you attack with a fork, the damage is pretty random. A lot of the time. Could be wrong, though. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, I forget. This is Dane's... Uh, detect skill tell you the HP levels, or is that a different ability? Is that scan? Don't know. Is it any need healing, though? That's the problem now, because we don't have Garnet in the party. We can't actually use a healing spell. So you have to really rely on items. Um, Quinna might be able to learn some helpful blue magic in that regard, but I can't remember. Shit, I just attacked the wrong one. I didn't mean to attack that one. We might end up killing it. Oh, 
maybe not. Okay, we should be able to eat it now. Fingers crossed. There we go, frog drop. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, sleepy time for Vivi. At least we know if, if shit starts to get a little bit scary, Zidane with that bloody ogre weapon. Usually sorts it out. Right, so... I think there's a few more skills we could learn here. There's, there's one in particular, Mighty Guard, which would be nice to get. But I can't really remember what enemy it ha uh, has it. Uh, let's heal up a little bit. Gonna be using a lot of tents, actually. Need to buy more of those, I think. So, we'll just run into a few more enemies. I mean, it's good XP anyway. VB's nearly leveled up. And then we'll, uh, we'll head to a different location and start another side quest. One of my favorites. Maybe of all time. Oh, two more of you. Okay. High potion's not bad at all. Let's, uh, let's try Lancer. Wow, that's nice. That is really nice. Yeah, I think the fork weapons are pretty random with the damage, it seems. That's okay, though. And level 8 for Vivi. Yeah, you know what? I might end up doing a lot of uh, blue magic learning off screen, but I will always sort of explain what I've done if that's the case. Um, let's, let's fight some enemies out on the world map as we head to our next destination. Actually, is that near here? I think there's a gate somewhere that might lead us to. Uh, a key item that we want to grab. I think it's around here. Let's have a look. Ah, there's a little bridge. Could be over this way, actually, yeah. Now that is the, uh, directly ahead of us is the forest we saw in the telescope. And we will be heading there soon. Oh, okay. Can I learn, what are you, what are you called? Ah, Vice. Yeah, I think we can learn something from this guy as well. Should that be enough to kill him, I wonder? Or uh, eat him, rather? I don't know. We learned Vanish. Hmm. Does that make us harder to hit, I wonder? 12 XP. Holy shit, that's crap. <laughs> right. Yeah, I just want to see what that does. Makes a party member disappear. I think that makes them immune to physical damage, perhaps. And there you go, that's Frog Drop. Let's uh, show off some of those if we can, soon. But yeah, let, uh, I'm not heading there just yet. I, I'm sure there's something else we can look at around here. Aha, there it is. Oh, these things, Ironites. These give really good XP, actually. Well, they're kind of dangerous. But we do have another skill we can learn, I think. I think they have a decent amount of health, though. Ow, 70. Holy crap. Yeah, that's nasty. No, not weak enough just yet. I might have uh, Quinner actually hit it. Can I steal anything else from it? 
flame. Ooh. I don't think this is the ability. I don't think. Ah, ee, Jesus Christ. I did a lot of damage. You see that then? Holy God. Oh, and a Thundara. That's gonna hurt. Yep. That really... Ooh, that smarted. dodged. Now oh, come on, come on, eat it. God damn it. Might have Vivi attack it. He's probably the one that won't kill it the most. Oh, that's gonna sting. Oh, God, barely did anything then. Just eat the damn thing. A lot of potions, I think we're gonna have to buy more. Yeah, he's still not weak enough. Zidane will definitely. Holy shit! That did a lot of damage. This fight is much more difficult when you're trying to weaken it just enough instead of just outright kill it. Nicely dodged, Vivi. I love the way he dodges, though, his animation. Right. If you're not weak enough now, there's something wrong. Defend, defend, defend. This is gonna hurt. That really is nasty. If we don't eat it now, we are in deep shit. Oh, come on, still not weak enough? Swore, wow, they have tons of health then. Oh, I'm so dead. Who's. Who's that attacking? BB. Alright, that's actually not too bad. Even though he's dead. Come on, we can't lose this now. Oh, it still needs weakening? Wow! Holy crap. That's insane. Alright, now, please, please eat it. Please. There we go. Angel snack. That better be worth it. Damn, that was tough. And then Vivi misses out on it, but that's okay. Right, what does that skill do? Oh, uses remedy on all party members, which cures most ailments. That's actually not bad. That's not bad. Still, though, took a bit of a beat in there. I'm actually going to use, um, going to call the Moogle, going to use a tent. Definitely going to be heading back to Lindblom at this rate, though, to get more items. Do, do, do. Although, I'm pretty happy with the uh, progress we've made on the Blue Magic front so far. Got a few useful skills, and you remember this place? This is where Baku and the crew were chilling. Where the hell they are now, I've no idea. They must be close to Lindblom by now. Hell, they should even be back there. I mean, it didn't take us long. Uh, so this... Oh, in fact, did we just waste a tent? Yeah, we did. <laughs> oh well. Um, I'm sure there's an item around here. The Mocha Coffee. So that is one of the three rare coffees for Morid. And the next one isn't until the next disc, so uh, that's okay. And Marcus looted this chest, which sucks. Anything else to do here? Oh, hang on. An ether. It's a very nice, relaxing place, this, though. I mean, it looks like it's just been abandoned, though. Like, forgotten for years. Don't know why. But anyway, we got that out of the way. 
Let's uh, let's head to that forest we passed. Of course, another encounter. What we're we gonna run into this time? Do, do, oh another! Oh no! Two of what are those? What are you? Ah, you are the ones that have mighty guard. I think possibly. I don't know. Could be these guys, I might be wrong. Nasty looking tails. Ooh. An encounter. That's crap. Oh, antidote though. That's nice. Still needs to be weaker. Okay. Nicely dodged. I don't think Detect does give HP totals, does it? But we'll try it anyway, because I can't remember. Just, no, just carries antidotes. Okay, it doesn't tell me anything. These guys are pretty tough, actually. And there we go, Mighty Guard! Now, if that's like all the other games, that'll cast Protect and Shell. So increase our magic and physical defense, but I might it might be slightly different, I don't know. But it's weird, because you could learn that quite early on in FF7 as well, and it's a pretty powerful skill in that game. It's like ridiculously overpowered for how early you can get it. And it kind of renders Shell and Protect useless. But um, we'll see how it is in this. Nice, learned some skills there as well. Awesome. Let's have a look. Yeah, it does. I mean, it costs a lot of MP though. We can't even use it yet. We've only got 61 and it's 64. Okay, well that makes a lot more sense because it is a ridiculously useful ability, that. Very nice. Right, into this forest. Oh my god! See, the rates are a bit different now. When I want enemies? No, no, th no sir. But when I don't, they're all over me. But at least this guy's gonna give us some nice XP again. And this time, we can just go for the kill. Uh, let's, let's show a frog drop. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't do too much damage just yet. I think it did 70 because we've caught seven frogs, perhaps? Is that how it works? Maybe. Who knows? Let's try Vanish. He's on VV because he's nearly dead. Should really be using Jump, actually, with Freya. Oh no, there we go. There's a lot of XP. And an Ironite card, which we've already got a few of, I think. 